I thought it was something negative. I wanted to avoid it at all costs. And I heard a lot of people around me talk about how painful it is and how they didn't want to go through it and how it ruins their lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And I honestly had the same belief. I thought that I should avoid it and not put myself under stressful situations at all costs. But I realized in a point where I wasn't satisfied with my life and I needed to put myself under pressure and under stress in order to recreate and to reshape myself into its best version and the version that I envision myself to become. So in this video, if you are experiencing stress, I want you to listen to me from start to finish because I'm going to talk about a lot of interesting points that you can apply into your own life and reshape the way that you envision stress in your life. So this video is going to be really eye-opening for you, especially if you are not satisfied with your routine or you feel that you are doing the same thing over and over and there's no end point to it. So my story goes, when I first started going to university, I didn't want to go. My parents forced me to it and they even told me what I should major in. So think about it. I wasn't in control of my life. I felt that I was just spectating and things were just unfolding. I didn't have any saying in it. So my parents chose my major for me and I remember when I first went to university, I didn't even feel like I belonged there. I was just going there to make my parents happy and I'll give you some extra details. Uh, usually in our semester in the university where I used to go, uh, you can take full credits. So the more credits you take, the faster you're going to finish your major. I think it's the same in all universities. So what I've done in the first semester of my first year of university, I only took one course, which was four credits. It wasn't even a main course that was related to my major. It was something like a side quest because I didn't want to put myself under heavy stress. I thought that the less stress I would have, maybe I could finish my major in six years or seven years instead of three. When the first year has passed, I noticed that all of the people that I used to see in the class, they moved up and they were able to uh, get into more and more advanced courses and they were faster than me in their progress. But I have just wasted a complete year taking one course and living in a life where everything was easy. I used to wake up at 10 a.m then uh, go to university once a week and for the rest of the time I used to play video games and work part-time. So I had a lot of free time on my hand and you know how the quote goes, idle hands do the devil's work. So when you don't have anything to do and you lack purpose, you're going to numb yourself eventually with pleasure and this pleasure is not going to lead you anywhere. So this is where stress comes in. As I compare my life, how I used to think about it back then to what I'm doing right now, if I look at my schedule, I'm not taking any rests, I'm not taking any days off. And you might say that's an overkill and you're just burning yourself out, but I seriously find joy in this. I find joy waking up super early at 5 a.m. and then going to work, knocking down 8 hours, finishing my shift at 3.30 p.m. and then heading to the gym, working out until 5 and then coming back home, cooking, filming a video, editing the video and then going to sleep at 9 p.m. This brings me extra fulfillment during my day and this is the routine that I follow every single day, even on the weekends. The times might differ, but it's going to be the exact same and the more you do the exact same thing and you put yourself under stress the more you're going to evolve in your craft because you know that you are dedicated and you are putting your effort day in day out you are giving 100 percent to one thing you are not deviating your thoughts into multiple things and you are not sitting idle not doing anything i get a lot of people that ask me about nofap how can they stop watching porn well i tell them how does your routine or your schedule look like do you just wake up and sit at home, don't have anything to do? Of course you're going to jerk off. This is what I used to do. Of course you're going to be playing video games the whole day because you lack purpose. You don't have anywhere to be. You don't have any value to add to the world. And once you start finding your own value and understanding yourself more, you're just going to feel like you are addicted to the process and you don't want any days off because you are genuinely passionate about what you are doing. This is what brings you fulfillment in the world because you genuinely know that your craft and whatever you are working on, not just just, for example, building a channel or going to the gym, building a physique. No matter what you are trying to learn, maybe you are trying to learn a language, you are trying to learn an instrument. The more stress that it gives you, the more fulfilled you're going to feel because it's bringing you one step closer to where you want to become in the future. And a lot of people miss out on that. You see, the stress that we go under, if you are not using it to build something for yourself, it's just going to be pointless. 
if you work a nine to five, for example, and all you do is work that nine to five and outside the working hours, you just lay down, watch uh, TV and then go to sleep. Of course, you're going to feel stress. You're not going to be enjoying what you are doing. But once you have this mindset that you are blessed, you get to go to work, you get to go to the gym, you get to work on your dreams and goals and you get to build things in the world. You're going to start seeing magnificent things unfolding in your life. This is the whole purpose of the video. You can stop watching now. The more stress that you put yourself under, the more it's going to build you and reshape you into the person that you are, and the more you're not going to feel any stress at all. It's just going to feel like magic. You're just going to wake up at the exact same time, go through the same exact day over and over and over and over, and then you will start seeing your physique progress. You're going to feel like you have much more money in your bank account. You are much more independent. You are a reliable person. You are disciplined. All of these good things, you're going to forget all the bad habits. I don't feel like I need to watch porn, for example, or play video games or waste my time. I don't want any single second to go to waste. I want my entire day from the moment I open my eyes up in the morning to the moment I go to bed to be productive and to be working on things that I genuinely care about. I don't want to be under stress from bad relationships, for example, or uh, being in a job that I hate just so I can pay my bills. I don't want to have this mindset that gives me bad stress. There's good stress and there's bad stress. And the more good stress you put yourself under, the more you're going to enjoy your life and you are going to see that there is something that you are aiming for that nobody else can see but you. You got to have this desire from inside that right now, I don't care about how I feel right now. I don't care if I'm under stress. I don't care if I only get six hours of sleep and then all of my waking hours I'm working. I don't care if I'm on the night shift. I don't care if I finish work at 2 a.m. and I still have to bust my ass at the weekends. This is bring me fulfillment, man. This is something that you should feel as well. You should have this inner desire to, to attack life. This is not only testosterone speaking, this is just the way that I felt once I started having this vision and this mindset towards the world, everything will unlock. All the doors that you are trying to knock on, maybe you are trying to find a better opportunity in the world. The more you have this exact mindset, the more doors are going to open up for you, whether it's assets or the way that you perceive yourself and the more confidence you build for yourself. All of this man is going to reshape you. This is why I tell you, if you are just wasting your time watching YouTube videos or playing video games or just wasting time, start valuing your time. Your time costs money and your attention costs money. You're watching this video right now. If you don't take action from it, you just wasted 10 minutes probably of your life. But the moral of the story is, as much as stress you can put yourself under, go for it. Don't say no to stress because through stress, you're going to rebuild your character and reshape your life. I know you are probably a person who is 18, 19 right now. You're at the exact same spot that I was. The exact message that I would have for my younger self is you need to stop numbing yourself. You have to look around and be dissatisfied with your situation. There's this moment during your journey where you switch your mindset because you are completely dissatisfied with your situation. I remember when I was 20 years old, I was taking my allowance from my parents when I was 20. I still used to ask my dad for money and I can see the disappointment in his eyes when he used to give me money. Even though I was a grown ass man, I asked my father for money. And this was something that he genuinely gave it to me. He didn't tell me anything, but I felt that it was something wrong. I shouldn't be asking my parents for money at this age. I should go outside and even if I work a minimum wage job, if I bust tables and I make maybe 10 bucks an hour, it's going to be more than enough for me to be fulfilled with myself. And you have to be humble through the process. Don't say no to anything. Take any opportunity that comes your way that's going to put you under stress and is going to put you under pressure. Because the more you can handle pressure and the more you can handle stress, the more unstoppable you're going to become. If you've made it this far, bro, I want you to know that this is your sign. Because if you didn't care about this topic, you wouldn't have made it until the end of the video. So I want you to take action. If you don't have a job, apply for jobs. If you are not in shape, get in the gym. If you don't have money, try to make money. Get outside and start exploring the world more and putting yourself out there more. And enjoy your process. Enjoy all of the stress that you are under because in exactly two years from now, you're going to look back and you will genuinely be grateful for yourself, for all the pressure and all the stress that you have put yourself under today that has created the person that you are right now. And this is everything for this video. First link in the description is the invite to my discord server you can join and start networking with like-minded individuals who are on self-improvement as well so if that's something that interests you make sure that you don't miss out on the opportunity it's completely free first link in the description thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video